Hello guys, this is Warrior here, and we are back with another Napoleon Let's Play episode as the Prussians. So, yeah, we've been beating our head up against the wall to try and crack into France for a while. Almost circumvented, had peace with Belgium, or not Belgium, with the Spanish, <clears throat> which has given us some time to replenish our ranks. We've gotten some artillery in. Uh, we gave the French a damn good thrashing. And now we are holding. We are going to get some reinforcements in. So let's in turn and see what happens. We're bringing in troops. I'm trying to recruit them from other spots so I can get them in in waves. Instead of just coming from a few locations. Yeah, I figured you were going to be pulling back there. And are you going to try? Looks like you're going to attempt to. That army that just crossed into southern Germany needs to be ousted. And hopefully they don't try to ambush us. You've left your... Strasbourg as Lorraine is vulnerable. Austria? Are you actually going to do something? Because right now you've been spending the last... I don't know, 30 turns swapping one province with the Ottomans. I could have conquered the Ottomans way quicker than that with Russia. Which I might actually do a Russian campaign now. I kind of want to do that. Never thought I would really enjoy these Napoleon Total Wars. Let me just stop with destruction of France and then do Russia. That'd be awesome. But do like a conquest with Russia. That would be cool. Get on the march. Yeah, that will help. And that will help. Alright. You'll funnel there, and then you're gonna move there. You're coming on in. Alright. This army is. But. Without reinforcements. Yeah, it's not going to be that much of a threat. But you could use the cavalry, so I'm going to put you there. And oust those two. There we go. I'll switch you around in a minute. You're over here somewhere, I just don't know where you're at. I really don't want to face that army without knowing a little bit more about it. And I've kind of mauled myself, so I don't really want to do that. You are proving to be remarkably annoying. However, I'm about to have a quite a good collection of troops to deal with you, so I'm not too worried about that at all. Alright, Berlin. Yes. Alright. Get that going. About to have a fine collection of infantry. All of you will go west. Should have enough trickling in to hold that. This is where we're going to get parity and pushing. Uh, we just gotta get enough numbers over there. Um, you will detour there. How are we doing? You fall. We'll move with gusto through there. Thank you. Come again. Alright, good. Alright, about to have an academy. That'll be great. Alright, let's... I want to move against you. But then part of me also wants to heal. So you take away the bridge. If they do come after me, we'll, we will be defending a bridge, so... So that'll be good. I 
I really hope I'm not shooting myself in my own foot here. Considering I'm basically the only one fighting the French. I figured that was coming. What type of sense does that make? Austria, are you seriously about to go to war with me? Over Bohemia. <sighs> You're an idiot. And, um, about to prove that. Very, very quickly. Yeah, I figured that was coming. Can't get over that, huh? Alright. Austria. That. I will give you that region. There. Now. Stop trying to be an idiot. Come this way. Alright. <laughs> That's not that. Not even remotely. Oh my goodness. Like, we should crush them. Severely. They have no artillery. Neither do we. Alright, um. Alright, let's, let's do this. How does that work? They get the city, but I'm relieving the siege. I'm... I'm a loss for words. I do know that they get incredibly good morale. The French do. They have better morale, but how does that equate when my troops are more accurate? Like, I, I guess... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so... Because they're doing this to themselves. Um, I do have some cavalry, so that's good. Um, we're going to split the arm in two, kind of. Mr. Von Blücher. You... And you. Alright. So. All of you. Move up. Huzzing. Right. Swing that way. You guys swing that way. And you. Swing that way. You just uh, withdraw yourself from the battle. Yeah. Right, so we got a ridge line right there. I want to take control over that ridge. Cavalry swing wide. Got all of your rounds. We're wasting. Leichte Infanterie zu befehl, sir. Now those weren't, but your other ones were wasted. Get up on there. Alright, what's 
coming in. A unit of cavalry. Let's execute. Let's stay there. There. The famous French blob attack. It's actually quite effective. It shouldn't be. Talking shit about it. Kick my ass a couple times. Leaving one Fusiliers of the line unit to get absolutely wrecked by my skirmishers. Can't make this up. So it looks like you're not going to defend the city. those units. Yes, you two go there. You fall. Get into the bowl. You've taken a building, sir. Good enough. As soon as they get into range, fire. This way. Get over in here in the grass. I have a feeling you're going to be very useful in there. Are running, sir. Terrible spot for them. As soon as they cross that hill, they're going to get charged.
they've been routed. Hold that. They're just gonna keep drip, drip feeding in regiments to hold the town. It's just. They've just been skirmishing with me or something. Which is refreshing. You uh, retreat off the battlefield. Hold up. Let's see what they do. We have taken the buildings up. Buildings up. Take the wall, come on. If you don't take those walls, you're going to get cut to pieces. Stone wall. Keep the stone wall. We'll outflank them.
keep it up. Engage. Our men are running, sir. Are running, sir. <laughs> Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Continue the battle. And that's how you use a wall to your advantage. Humbled them again. Keep moving. That is a sh whole lot of artillery. Um, I really don't want to fight that in the open. So, uh, yeah, I'll make you come after me. Or, what I could do, send some troops down. Which way are you going? I think I had you coming this way to give us some artillery. I did. There we go.
Come on in. This is not going to end well for you. Why would I deploy it outside of a settlement? Especially when someone has that many artillery pieces. One, two, three units of cavalry. No, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So. Uh, can't deploy that though. Alright. You sit up on top of that hill. Jaegers right there. I want you to play some stakes. So where are you going to go? Are you sending in the infantry? <coughs> it would appear so. So the only real option is to send in the infantry to try and probe us. Oh, 
We've taken the buildings up. Our men are running, sir. Well, that covers all the destroyed. There. You two swing that away. I bet the clear outs of cavalry. i 
running sir. Run, please. Yeah, this ain't good for them. Our men are running, sir. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I hope so. Why? Why? <sighs> so... You're still at war with France. So your big move here is to declare war on me. And now Russia is probably about to declare war on me. Yeah, this campaign's over. Yep. Because there's, there's nothing I can do except for maybe be able to peace out with France. Maybe.
there is like literally no hope. Almost had France on the run. And then you do that, which like, honestly, I should just pull back everything I have from here and just let France in. I've been keeping France away from you this whole time. And then you do this and stab me in the back. And... Like... There's no way I can hold... Any of this. Like... Yeah, I don't even... Like, that's just... No. Um. Alright, this is the end. So, until next time, hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next...